and it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. I'm here to do a quick uh, demonstration build of a automated air defense uh, remote control so that, uh, as I had mentioned previously, there's a way now with these SAM sites, since they're electrified, to turn them off when you leave your base so you don't blow yourself up or friendlies and turn them back on after you've left. But, Thumper, you say, when you're flying, you can't pull out a transmitter to turn this thing on and off remotely. You are correct. Um, I did build that feature in here. I can use this. If I trigger it, you can see light turns green. Trigger it again, light turns red. I also put a timer on the wall going through an OR switch so either the receiver or the timer can be used. A quick one second timer that turns it on, turns it off. Could have also used like a pressure pad or something else but uh, timers are convenient for that use. So that doesn't answer the question, uh, how do I get out of here alive and then turn it on since I can't pull out my remote detonator while I'm flying? Well, let's do a different kind of flying for a moment here. Just gonna no clip up to the hillside here. And what I've done is set up this little one by one up here on the hillside. It's uh, just safely out of range of the SAM site, and you can see that if you look inside, all it is is a TC and a broadcaster on the same frequency. Up on top, I have a solar panel and HBHF. The HBHF has included, uh, excludes authorized, so it includes me, it ex sorry, includes authorized, that's me excludes others, I haven't added others, or I turned off other players, so non-friendlies. So, anyone who authorizes on this TC can now trigger that HBHF by flying over it, or jumping in front of it, or whatever you want to do, but presumably you're flying your minicopter where you can't pull out your remote, and that sends the signal down to the base to turn off the SAM site. So that's how it works. Get in your minicopter, see that it's on now. When you fly over that little one by one, it'll turn on your SAMs. And when you're on your way back to your base, you just swing over the top of that thing on your way back in, and again, it'll turn them off. I'm gonna start with it turned off. And uh, see if I can't do a horrible, no. Well, before I leave, let me show you the wiring. All it is is a uh, power supply coming in splitting off uh, at least 25 units because that's what you need to power that thing and then the excess power goes here I split it so that I have enough power to run the receiver the OR switch and the timer and the receiver and timer go through an OR switch the OR switch goes into the toggle toggle so anytime I activate either of these it switches state on the memory cell right um, and that, when it changes, determines whether the power is on or off on this thing. So, not using the set or reset here, because I do want it to be uh, dynamically toggled. Uh, a sort of inopportune timing for uh, the decay on my <laughs> minicopter. <laughs> But hey, who doesn't love fire? Alright, so you can see because the light's red right now that the TAM site is off. So uh, I need a minicopter. I'm not going to put it there. There we go. A minicopter. I need some fuel. Jump in here. You'll see right now, Sam site's not tracking, not trying to kill me because it's off. I also have a pager on my hotbar. That's just a convenience thing. Um, the reason I did that is because it may be hard to tell whether or not you've triggered this thing flying over. So having the pager in my hotbar makes sure that I know that I triggered it. So when I hear it beep, I know I've sent the signal. 
So as I fly over, you should hear the pager go off. That's going to tell you the SAM site is then active. There we go. And we can prove that. Oh, quick flyby out here. This thing should start firing away. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> See if I can make that alive here. Missed me. All right. And so then when it's time to go back to my base, I'm just going to come down here. Again, do a quick flyby over the top of the one by one. I just put a solar panel on here, but you should probably put a battery back up because otherwise the solar going to work during the day. So pager beeps, tells you I sent the signal, tells you that this is deactivated now. Come back in and see if the SAM site is off. Just like we wanted. Now you can safely come in. Oh, if you can fly, make a quick landing, and boom, and hit that. Turns it back on. Now, if anybody was following me into the base, they are going to get shot down. So that's it. Simple demo. Again, uh, I wouldn't use just solar panels for this, <laughs> otherwise it won't work at night. But uh, put a little small battery back up. On. Actually, you need a large battery down here because this thing takes 25 power. Um, but you need a large battery back up down here to run this, and a small battery back up up in the one by one to run the HBHF. And of course, this trigger could then be split um, coming out of the ore. You could split that into multiple outputs uh, if say you wanted to run you know, a bunch of different SAM sites. Really you can only run three effectively off of one 100 unit battery backup power source. But you could set up you know, a few strings of them around the base here and then just split this output to hit the memory cell for each of those uh, strings of SAM sites so that you still only need one setup of this to run a whole battery of SAM sites. All right, well, there it is. That gives you some ideas on how to automate your SAM site control so that you can get in and out of your base safely. This does work with other friendlies because it's based off of the, the TC uh, authorization up on that one by one. So as long as your friends are authorized up on that one by one, they can turn this on and off and get in and out safely. So there you go. Good luck and don't suck. <laughs>